Hey guys, look at me faces back to another Rolling Line video. Today, I've got actually quite a good map, actually. Um, I, I've just had a quick look around it, and it looks pretty cool. So, we're going to go ahead and get some trains running. As you guys can see, the map designer has actually built some really, really, really long trains. Uh, and it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. So, this is the dockyard, as you guys can see. And this is where pretty much every train actually starts off. So, we'll go ahead and get them all going around. And it'll be, uh, it'll be a pretty cool map to have a look around. So, let's get into it. Hey! Okie dokie then, I guess first things first is we're going to get these trains moving around. So, let's go and have a look at what trains we've actually got to start off with. Uh, we've got a little shunter right here. I think the shunters should actually stay on the, uh, on the dockyard. I don't think these guys are going to be moving away from here. Um, they're just going to be staying where they are. And actually, where does this go to? Wait, does this actually... Whoa, where does this go? Hold on, I want to see where this tunnel goes to. I have no... Whoa. Where, where does... What the heck? What? Where the heck? We got like a turny turny, and then it turns all the way... What the... Oh, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm going to throw up. Where am I going? Where does this go? Oh, and then it goes out. Oh, right. Okay, cool. That is that is interesting. Okay, nice. All right, so uh, first things first is we're gonna go ahead and get this train moving. Uh, we might as well go just just very slowly. Um, and yeah, there we go. It's a Southern Pacific locomotive. Uh, actually, it's three Southern Pacific locomotives, and they're all pretty cool, I suppose. Um, I don't know whether there's anything at the back because it is a really long train, as you guys can see right here. Um, it is super long. Oh, we got a CSX. Ah, cool. We got a CSX um, shunter actually moving them along. Uh, so first thing is it goes through a tunnel, okay, and then it ends up on this track right here, which is the um, All right, okay. This is very confusing because all the tracks sort of crisscross over each other all the time um, We'll just let it go around and um, we'll go ahead and make the other trains go around too And then eventually they might cross into each other. They might actually crash into each other. I don't know I don't know whether you've noticed today, but I don't actually have a webcam on I don't know whether you guys actually enjoyed having the webcam or not So I've turned it off for today if you guys do want the webcam back let me know. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and make this train move next, which is three locomotives, three little steam flyers attached together with a bunch of logs, okay? And then we got a little uh, a little shunter at the back, which is actually interesting, but there you go. We'll go ahead and we'll jump in the front one, and we'll get it going around the track. There we go. All right, cab lights on. Awesome sauce. All right, I don't actually know which way it goes from here. It's going to stay on the right track. All right, that seems interesting. Let's wait until it gets to, it's actually already at 2.3, and this one will be going around the opposite direction to the one we just set going. So, that'll be cool. I don't know whether they'll crash into each other. I have just noticed this. That is cool. We've had a car crash. That is interesting. Oh, we got a police car too. I've never seen a police car in this game. That's awesome. Like, little details like that are really cool. But yeah, as you guys can see from just this picture right here, basically this map is really detailed. And actually it's really detailed all the way around as well. Um, what I would have liked to seen, uh, what, uh, what I would have liked to have seen is like a bridge from over this side to that side. Um, because at the minute this looks like you can't actually get down from here. Um, and there's a house at the top of it, which is interesting. Uh, but I don't think they can get down from their house. There's no way down. Anyway, yeah, I've only just seen that. That's, that's one detail um, that they might have missed. But that's okay. That's fine. Uh, the rest of it looks amazing. It looks so cool. We got like a city thing going on here. We got lots of, I guess these are taxis. They look like taxis waiting to take people from the station to wherever they need to go. This taxi's had a bit of an issue with this, um, with this car, which looks like a criminal car because it's run away from the police. Um, I don't know where the station actually comes from. Like, where do the trains come from to get here? And where does it go? Oh, it loops around on itself and go, oh, right, that's cool. That is cool. Nice. Um, yeah, so there's a little city over here. If we follow it around a little bit more, we come to, like, the countryside kind of thing. We got a little beach down here with a crashed yacht. All right, cool. Man, whoever built this map likes destruction. Uh, we got a crashed yacht, a sank yacht, or whatever. A shipwreck. I don't know. Do you call it a tiny boat a shipwreck? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, there's, like, the countryside down here. We got a beach. We got a tunnel that goes... Looks like it goes underneath, actually. Does it go underneath the water? Or does it just attach to... Where does it go? Oh, this just goes underneath the map, and then it comes back out over here. All right, cool. It splits into three. That's pretty cool. Uh, if we go around a little bit more. Um, wow. Look at this. We got like a football stadium kind of thing. A football stadium. We got... And also, wait. Hold on. If you look at this as well. We got like the main city or whatever. The main the main build. 
And then if you go outside the map, they've actually continued it. Now, I think the reason that they've continued it over here is that if we go into first person, uh, you can actually see it. You can actually see through walls uh, in first person. So that's actually really cool. I like that. Um, there are pretty much, like, I've, I've pretty much got every livery in the, uh, in the map, actually. Um, however, I don't have some of the liveries, so that's a little bit upsetting. I don't remember seeing any list, uh, as to what liveries are on the map, uh, but if you guys have got every livery installed, then I'm pretty sure you'll have them all. Um, and that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, as we come out of the city, though, we got three little lines, which are pretty awesome. Uh, they all follow each other around, and then they split into a million, uh, which is cool. Um, wow, wow, look at this, we've got like a mine going, oh, that is amazing. That looks amazing right there, I like that, what is this, like a purple, oh, it's steaming as well. I don't know what that is, ah, I don't want to go in there, that's creepy. Um, but yeah, this is, in wow, how big is this train? Whoa, what is this train doing? It's like a train crashed off the side of the map, I don't know what that one's doing. Uh, but what's pushing this? Anything? Wait, what? One shunter? No. Wait, what? Oh, no. Wait, hold on. What the heck? This is the tr this is the thing that I started off with. This is the, the first train that we set going. And it's crashed. It's already crashed off the map. Oh, man. I thought it would have been set up so that it would actually do a, a circuit. Uh, but apparently not. Apparently it's already crashed. Damn it. Alright, well, I guess that's quite interesting to see, but, um, I don't really know what to do about it. I guess we could go ahead and try and make the, uh, CSX one go backwards. Um, but that's, that's all I can try and do. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and try and do that. Here we go, we're gonna start going backwards. Uh, and as soon as we went backwards a lot, well, enough, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put those trains back on. And hopefully we'll put them on a track that allows it to go around. Uh, cause at the minute, we're gonna have a few issues. Right, we'll go ahead and flick that switch. And, I think... We'll be able to make it go around the track this way. Uh, and that should be completely fine. I don't know where this goes. Uh, but it might be an idea to go on that track. Yeah, maybe we should get it going that way. Uh, unless it goes to the right. No, it's fine. Yeah, alright, cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and make it go down there. That seems like a good idea to me. Um, right, okay. As long as we go backwards, we can go ahead and flick this switch. There we go. Which will make them go to the right. Then we need them to go to the right again. Then we need them to go to the right again. And everything will be okay. We're going to go ahead and grab one of these, because they're underneath, and uh, put them on the end of this train. Yeah, there we go. Bam! Wait, there we go. Bam! Alright, cool. We'll turn that one around, and we'll put another one down. We'll push it backwards. Alright, and then we'll put another one on. Oh, there we go. We'll all have them going on the same the same direction. That seems like a, like a fair deal to me. Alright, here we go. We're going forwards now. Um, so we should have fixed it. We should have fixed this situation. I don't know whether it's going to run into any other situations where it falls off the track. Um, but we're just gonna have to deal with it when it comes to it, I guess. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so one of the things that you guys will have seen, it- Whoa, I didn't see this. Uh, but this is the other train that we started and it's gone this way. Why? Why on earth? Whoa! Oh my Jesus. Okay, I didn't realize the trains would actually stay on there. That, that's pretty cool, actually. Um, but it might get rammed into. No, it won't. No, it, will it? No, it won't. Um, basically, this train's come down here, and it should cross over the bridge. Uh, but the bridge wasn't there at the time, so um, it sort of just died, I guess? I don't know where that's gone. Oh, it's right there. Wow, interesting. All right, there we go. We'll put that on the track again. Um, and we'll make it go backwards, if we can. There we go. Go backwards, please. Thank you. All right, attach. There we go. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and put one of these in the middle if we can. That would be amazing. There we go. All right, cool. And we'll go ahead and push this forwards so that they're all attached together again. And then we'll get it going. All right, cool. Get back inside, you. There we go. One, two, and three. And we're off. Nice. I wish the map maker had actually made it so that the trains that they'd put down is actually, like, go the right way and not fall off the track. Uh, but it seems that maybe they didn't think about that. I'm not entirely sure though. Maybe I've done it wrong. I don't know All right cool this map is actually really 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 awesome. I really like it um, But basically we're gonna go ahead and make some more trains go around uh, this one is on the track. It's a Union Pacific big boy, so we'll go ahead and get him going. 
And, uh, awesome, yeah! Alright, this is cool. I love the big boy. The big boy actually looks amazing in this game. Um, the train has just gone outside the map, so all of it's disappearing. Um, which is really interesting to see, actually. Um, but yeah, that is weird. How weird is this? We can't see it unless we're, like, out of first person. Really strange. Uh, but there you go, it's coming back into view now. And it looks amazing! It looks insane! Uh, I don't know whether it's going to stay on a different track to this train, which I think it is. It's going to go on the far left. Now, I don't know whether they ever crash into each other. Or if it'll ever crash into another train. Um, but I think it should be okay. It'll be fine. Uh, it's going to carry on around this track right here, the middle one, and it should be okay. Alright, good. Have we got any other trains on this track that we should be going around? Oh, wow, what's happened to this? Oh, we, we've had a bit of an issue with one of these trains. The, um, the steam locomotives, their train was a lot bigger. In fact, it was, it was way bigger. This is part of it. This is part of that train. Uh, but apparently, it messed up a little bit. So we're going to get rid of this, and um, we'll go ahead and get that Amtrak train going around. Which has a Canadian national... So, this might be a bit of a glitch. I don't know whether this is a glitch or not. But, um, this CN, um, livery seems to get put on random trains. Which is strange, but there you go. Um, right, anyway. We're gonna go ahead and make that one go around. We'll also make the Flying Scotsman go around, which I believe this one is. And we'll also make the Tornado go around, which is this one right here. Um, and they're all on the same line, which is completely fine. As long as we put them going forwards at different times. Which, indeed, we will. Okay, so starting off, we're in the Amtrak. We're gonna go ahead and go forwards at speed 3. Bam! Yep, alright, cool. As soon as this gets to 2.3, we'll go ahead and switch to the Flying Scotsman. Uh, there we go. Alrighty, awesome sauce. We'll go ahead and jump inside you. Uh, if you guys want to see me make some liveries, then let me know in the comments down below. I can make some Thomas and Friends ones if you guys want me to attempt that. Um, I'm not gonna say that they're gonna be any good, but uh, I'll try my best to try and make them look good. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, we're gonna wait for this train to go by, and then we're gonna make the Flying Scotsman follow on. Alright, cool. Here we go. One, two, and three. Uh, also, another, another side note, I guess, uh, is if you guys want to see me go and see the Flying Scotsman in real life, um, it's only an hour away from my house at the minute, so I could go ahead and make a vlog. Um, a vlog trip, I guess, down to see the Flying Scotsman. Um, and the Mallard, uh, they're both in the same place, so if you guys want to see that, let me know. And hopefully I'll be able to make a, a decent vlog of it, I guess. Alrighty, so we got both of those locomotives going, we're gonna go ahead and jump in the tornado, make this thing go along the line as well, and every one of these trains is working. Man, how many planes are in the air right there? There's three military planes flying over, that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, yeah, those are all going in a straight line. I don't know whether they'll ever crash into each other or crash into anything else. Oh, wow, there's the the uh, the Southern Pacific ones. Oh, that is cool. That is a long train, actually, to be moving still. Um, it hasn't detached from itself, which is awesome. Uh, I, was, I was totally expecting it to uh, mess up like they usually do, but no, that works completely fine. Uh, I do want to go ahead and try and find the three... Oh, there they are. They're actually working completely fine. I don't think they're going to go off the Middle Island now, but they're, they're pretty awesome. Cool. Alrighty, well I guess one of the last things to do is have a little look around the map a little bit more. So this is actually a different town. We got a highway coming in. Um, well actually, no. We got a highway bridge, okay, um, that splits into two, which is actually pretty awesome. I like this. This is cool. Uh, it's got like an underground tunnel system kind of going on. Um, and, oh man, imagine building this. I don't know how long this, this actually took to build, uh, but a lot of it's made out of the new building materials, so I guess... I guess it wasn't actually built in, uh, like a massively long time, but it, it must have took a while. Um, but it's, it is pretty cool. Look at it. We got like a highway coming in. Uh, we got a highway bridge. Um, we've also got a crash on the interstate underneath. Look at that. The smoke particles and everything looks amazing. That's really cool. Just the, just the attention to detail on this thing is really awesome. Um, so I like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, we've obviously got these little stations as well, which are um, custom built, which are awesome as well. Uh, if we follow the line along a little bit more, we got some railway bridges going over another interstate, uh, which is amazing. Then we got this like industrial area on the outside of town. Then we got the massive quarry thing, which looks insane, um, which is awesome. Uh, we got some skyscraper kind of things, and we got a massive train station, which is amazing. All right, cool. If we follow it around a little bit more, obviously we come to like a more rural area with a little a little river that looks really cool. Uh, we got some vineyards and stuff out here in the middle of nowhere. It looks it looks really good. Uh, if we follow it along a little bit more, it looks like we got like a little holiday camp kind of thing. Um, and then we got this. I don't know what this is. It's like the end of the line, uh, which is kind of interesting. But there you go. All right, cool. 
Then we come to this little point right here, which I didn't want this train to move because it would have crashed into another train because uh, it, it, it goes back into the other train's path. Um, but I guess it could go around now if it wanted to. Is, what was that? What's that? Is there a train underneath? I, don't, I can hear a train moving by, but I don't know where it is. Is it under? Oh, it might be under here somewhere. Interesting. Oh, wow. Interesting. Right? Like a subway kind of thing going on. Oh, that's insane. Look at that. We got a subway. Under the underground. That is that is really cool. I like that. I really like that. That's a good thing. Um, and yeah, we've pretty much seen the rest of this. So yeah, if you guys want to check out this map, I will try and link it down below. Uh, and you guys will be able to check it out, download it, and uh, play it for yourselves. But it's, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you guys want to see me play more on this map, then let me know. Um, if you guys have any liveries that you want me to check out, let me know as well. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.